Hi guys, I had a question on one of my post bag videos. It relates to the ESC that I've got inside this little fella. And I can't answer the question without opening this one up and having a look. The ESC controls two motors at the same time. That one. And it uses the normal three wires for a ESC control, plus a fourth one, a yellow one. If we can just about see it there. There we are. So you've got the normal three wires. So negative, positive, or ground, positive, and signal wire, the white one. Then it's got this yellow one that links into, depending on how, how you have it set up. Um, let's think. If I've got that set up to my normal pistol grip controller, that's your steering and that's your throttle. And that was the question. So that's channel one is your steering and channel two is your throttle. And that was the question, or at least that's the answer to the question. But having got this out, what I might do is give it a little run. It's a crazy little car, this one. The original design is designed so it runs both ways up. So you can flip it over and it keeps running. But I modified it. Put the roll cage on it, as you can probably see it. So I've finished doing this up. Yeah. Roll cage on it. Camera for one of my little mini cameras. 2S, uh, that is a LiPo battery in there. I do have 2S lithium ion batteries that are the same size, but that one is actually a LiPo. So if I plug that in there and get my controller out, we can give it a little run. Right, fits my little Quilima, I think it is. Uh, SQ12, I think that one is, or SQ11, I can't remember which one it is. Whichever one it is, it's the one that works, as opposed to all the other ones I've bought that don't. So, power on. Press that button once, that puts it into 1080p. Press that button again, and it's now recording. It's not going to stay today. Right, so right, left. You see what we mean about it being a bit crazy? Forwards is this way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, backwards. Yeah, the question was, would it work on a tank tracked vehicle, controlling the motors in opposite directions? And the answer is yes. So we'll put it on the floor and have a bit of fun. Right, we'll try and keep it within the range of the camera. So I have full proportional control. Obviously, you're not going to see much on the camera there. 
on the onboard camera. And then it will do tricks. The main problem is trying to control it because you need to be very gentle. You need to, if you have a trimmer, you'd need to turn it right down to reduce the amount of um, turn. Let's see if I can do that. It's turned it right down. <laughs> That's too far. It does go off-road, but it's got no ground clearance as such, so it has to be fairly smooth surfaces. It'll get bogged down in grass and weeds and that sort of thing fairly easily. Check the video description. I've done quite a few videos of it having fun. It goes absolutely great in a skate park. You can do jumps and all that sort of thing with it. Crazy jumps with it for the size of the car. steering down again. It's very difficult just to get it to go round in a circle because it overdoes it. I think that'll do. Um, don't need to go too wild with it. One of my favourite radio controlled cars, to be honest. And like I say, skate park, absolutely brilliant fun. get it stuck up there. Can we get out? Well, I managed. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. We won't make it a long video. And that's answered the question. So the main, uh, the three-way connector goes on to channel one and the single connector went on to channel two in my setup with that controller. If you're using an ordinary twin stick controller, then you probably want channel one and channel three, probably. That'll do. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. 
And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.